tell us about yourself. Uh, my name is Adam Bueller. I'm third. No, not really. Um, I'm 32. I hate everything and everyone, and I just want everyone in the world to just die in a fire, all separate fires, because I want them all to grieve individually and then have to, you know, then die in a fire. But like, I really hope it's one of those things where like they get trapped and like a, before the fire gets going, really. So, that it, but like with no way of getting out, right? So they just kind of have to watch the fire get worse and worse and worse, where they're like, oh crap. I'm gonna die in this thing in like 20 minutes and there's nothing I can do. Um, I'm rambling a lot right now, but I think I've given you enough to you know, tell you what kind of person I am. I mean, I'm wearing a shirt with a chopped up naked dead lady on it, if that tells you anything. So. What made you want to become a pro wrestler? Oh God, stupid decisions. I love stupid decisions. Everything, like it was one of those things where it's like, hey, we should, we should go do this. It's like, well, that sounds perfectly sane, so absolutely not. Hey, you should get into pro wrestling. That sounds like the worst decision I'll ever make in my entire life. Let's do it. So, pro wrestling, no, I've like, eh, I always grew up watching it and I decided to get into it, just never grew out of it. And I was like, I'm gonna go do that. And now I do. Who trained you? I was trained by Shark Boy, as much as he probably doesn't want me to tell people that. Uh, yes, uh, Shark Boy is my trainer. Who are your favorite wrestlers growing up? Favorite wrestlers growing up? Um, Hulk Hogan, because I grew up in the 80s, obviously. Uh, Bret Hart, I loved Mr. Perfect. Owen Hart, of course, as well. Um, friggin' Macho Man. All the good ones, like you name them. Like just the, the classics, the same ones that every kid loved when they were growing up because I was a product of the WWF product. Uh, what's the craziest experience you've had as a pro wrestler? As a pro wrestler, craziest experience? In ring, I would say wrestling barefoot in a bunch of uh, thumbtacks, or not thumbtacks, wrestling barefoot in a bunch of light tubes, carpet strips, and having a fish hook put through my face and also diving into a bunch of light tubes barefoot and having the guy move. That wasn't very fun. So what kind of injuries have you experienced as a wrestler? Uh, injuries, well, here's my chest. I'll let you check that out. Um, those are mostly from light tube cuts. Uh, I had this pretty sweet injury right there. That is from not getting stitched up when I should have. Um, I've got my back is looking pretty, pretty sweet lately. You probably see my butt crack too. And my worst injury is, well, I'll show it to you this way. Worst injury is my shoulder that you can see does not look the way that a normal shoulder should look. Uh, that happened, um, I've been wrestling for 12 years. That happened in year one. So I've been wrestling for 11 years like this because as I stated earlier, I like making stupid decisions. What advice do you have for people who want to become pro wrestlers? Uh, don't. That's... <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, honestly, go find a good wrestling school, learn how to do it the right way. Don't be like a bunch of these other freaking tards that, like, I'm gonna go and learn how to do the bare minimum and that makes me a pro wrestler. No, go to a wrestling school, learn how to do it the right way, take advice from people who've been around for a long time, take in every bit of advice that you can, and just try to be as much like the people that you were growing up. Uh, wow, I said that wrong. Try to be as much like the people you liked growing up. Try to emulate them and strive for that, as I have clearly done. All right, thanks. Thank you.